Okay, we all set? Yep. One. Okay. Oh. What oh was no. That? Huh. Well, that doesn't look good. Huh. Should I try it again? Yeah, I'll try again. Yeah. Whoa. That's it. What's that? It's like showing it up on the lift. Uh oh. <laughs> Sick mini. <laughs> Looks like we might have some battery issues. Do me a favor, would you go ahead and pop the bonnet? Well, if you're looking for the battery on a more modern, this is a 2012 Mini, it's actually hidden. It's hidden under this cover right here in the front right here. So we just pop these two little tabs and open this panel and there's our battery. Tools we'll need, we'll need some rubber gloves, a good battery tester, I have a solar battery tester here, an OBD2 memory saver, and an adapter that will plug onto a 12 volt battery, a 10 millimeter nut driver, and a small 10 millimeter ratchet. Now we're pretty sure our battery is quite dead, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our solar tester here just to verify the results. So this will tell us if the battery is good, kinda going, or if it's a complete fail and needs to be replaced. It's a really cool little tester. Okay, so it's really easy to use. All you have to do is Hook it to the two terminals on your battery here. So just clamp it on. I popped the little cover off of here. All right. So look at this. Already it's saying 9.46 volts. So we know that this battery is completely to toast. But let's go ahead and see what it says anyways. So SL1 is the type of battery. So that's correct. And then it wants to know the cranking amps. And the, this is kind of a low. It's like 570. So it's kind of low. And then it'll go through a test when I hit enter. Uh-oh, it says change. So it is, it's done. It's completely done. Nope. <laughs> so this battery is bad. All right, so our next step is going to be to hook the car up to power while we re before we remove the battery. So the thing we're gonna use for that is this guy, this is a little OBT, OBD2, ODB2, OB1 Kenobi connector that we plug into the car and we can plug 12 volts into the end of it and it will keep the car on life support while we pull the battery, go to the store, replace it, pull, get a new battery, install it, then we can take this off. So this is our OBD2 connector and it has a lighter plug on the end of it. Down here, I have a 12 volt battery with a lighter plug adapter that I've clamped onto it. So we're gonna use this. This should power the car just fine. Now, uh, what we wanna do first is to plug this guy in and then we'll plug it into the battery. All right, so you have to find your OBD2 port. It's generally somewhere under in here. In this car, it's right here. So you just plug this guy in until it's all the way in. All right, then we come back here, down here and we plug in power. And what we're looking for is this red light. That tells us everything's okay. Okay, so now we're all set. Now we can go ahead and pull the battery out, take it down, get a new one, and reinstall it without losing any of the memory in the car. So to remove this cover, which we have to get out to get the battery out, we're going, there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one back here we have to remove first. This one's plastic. And the one on the black I think is metal, but they're 10 millimeter. Then we're gonna pull up this rubber stripping and we'll be able to pull this whole panel out. So, okay, so we'll start with this first one here. It's easy enough to get to. All right. Now I always like to have a tray that I put things in over here so we don't lose anything. All right, our next one is back here. 
pull this one off as well. This one's an actual metal bolt and we'll put that in our parts tray. Next, we remove this rubber strip just back far enough. We don't need to take it completely off and just set it out of the way. And then we'll just work this panel up. There it goes. A couple of little snaps there that have to come up. And then I believe there's one up here as well. There we go. All right, then carefully lift it out of the way and set it aside. Now with that cover out of the way, we can go ahead and remove our battery terminals and also the clamp that holds the battery down. So I'm going to loosen the clamp first. It's right here. Everything is a 10 millimeter. So we just loosen this up and work this up and out of the way. There we go. Looks like that. Set that in our parts tray. Now we always want to make sure we take off the negative terminal first and there's a good reason for that. That if you're wrenching here on the positive terminal and you still have your negative hooked up and you inadvertently hit any metal, you will short that wrench out to the frame and it will literally melt it in place. So you super don't want to do that. So we'll remove our negative terminal first. It just needs to be loose. We can work this up and out and put that aside. Let's try to get it out of the way. All right, now our positive terminal. Now one thing we do want to remember that since we did use the battery saver, the, this terminal is still live and the other battery is hooked through. So we still want to be very careful with this. So we just need to loosen this enough that it'll come up work it up back and forth a bit all right great now we do want to put the cover back on this and we want to be very careful that this doesn't touch any metal anywhere because it is live because of the battery saver back there also a good idea is to just wrap it in a rag just to definitely keep it from touching anything all right the last thing we need to do is remove our little vent here on the side. So we just work that out. Simple enough. Okay, now the battery is completely free and we can get it out of the car. Remember there's a clamp on the back side here holding it down because we had the screw in clamp on this side. So we're going to have to kind of rotate it a little bit to get it out of that clamp and get it up. It's not super simple to get out, but and it's of course a battery so it's good and heavy. There we go, tilt it a little bit. Now it should come straight up. Oh my gosh, these things are so heavy. Okay, so now the battery is out of the car. Next step is to take it down to the store, trade it in, and go get a new one. Now with our old battery out, it's a good opportunity to look down in the well where the battery sits. And what we're looking for is any corrosion around here, maybe acid had spilled out and caused a big mess. There's going to be, of course, a little bit of dirt and stuff, and that's fine. But what we're really looking for is corrosion, and I don't see any down here. If there was, we'd want to deal with that right then. We'd want to take this plate out and sand it down and repaint it. Uh, here is our bump back here that the battery is going to hook underneath. So as we set the battery down, we're going to have to do the same sort of thing and sort of tilt it in and drop it in. And then we'll hook up our battery cables after that. I've also taken my little vent here. We don't want to lose track of this guy. And so I just put it over here so it kind of stays out of the way and it will be a lot easier to get to once I have the battery in. Now you want to orient your battery properly. The negative should be towards the center of the car and the positive on the outside. Now also look here, they've got their vent on the opposite side. So we're going to want to pull this little guy out here, the little plug that they've got on the other side, and swap this around. We actually don't need this. We already have it in the car. But we want to put our plug in on that side. So we'll leave this pointing up just in case there's any dribble of, of acid. All right, and it's just a clean jerk to get this thing in. It's pretty heavy. Here we go. Everything out of the way. 
So we drop it in and we're going to rotate it backwards a little bit and get it underneath that lip back there and it should sit flat. Feels like it's in. Next step is going to be to just reverse here. We're just going to put the battery clamp back on. So it goes like this. So the big flat part goes towards the battery. You can use your 10 millimeter nut driver on this. There we go, lock that back in. Next we'll reconnect our positive terminal. They have a little cover over the battery here. We want to be careful with this. Pop our little plastic cover off the top. There we go. And work it over the top of the battery terminal. Make sure it seats all the way down like that. Take our 10 millimeter and clamp this back down. Don't go too awfully tight. That's why I use a very small ratchet. There we go. Just want to cinch it down. Make sure we put our cover back on. Looks like that's on. Great. Now we can do our negative terminal. Same sort of thing. Now it's difficult to get these terminals reversed. And the reason is, let me take this cover back off is that it's a little hard to see, but the positive terminal is almost always bigger in diameter than the negative terminal, which makes it very nice, sort of polarizes this a little bit, makes it a little more foolproof to get in. All right, we've got our negative terminal down, seated all the way. Tighten this guy on. All right. Now we want to take our vent I want to remember this step and take the vent little tube guy they put with the battery out and just plug ours in. There we go. So that's secure. We have our plug on the other side. Battery's in. Everything's good and solid. Now, before I put everything back together, we'll go ahead and test this a little bit and make sure that the battery is in good shape and that it will indeed start the car. Now that our battery is in, we don't want to forget to remove our OBD connector. So we can disconnect the power here. The red light should remain on. That means that there is some power from the battery flowing into this, which is great. Now just work your connector off. There we go. Okay, so the car is off its life support and back on the main battery. Now with our new battery in, we do want to go ahead just for fun and test it. It should check out perfectly. So let's see, we'll go ahead and hook up our solar tester here. We'll hook up our one line to the positive and the other one to the negative. And look at that, 12.45, that looks really good. So we'll just go through this again. It's still an SL1 battery. Then CA cranking amps are going to be about the same, I believe. A little bit higher, actually. This battery is 810. So let's run this up a little bit. Okay. And let's test. All right. It says it's okay. And we've got a cranking amp of actually 1,000. And 71, that's great because the rated cranking amps on this battery is only 810. So it's actually reading higher than it's rated. That's wonderful. Now we know our battery is good. We can just go ahead and button everything back up. Just cover our positive terminal again. There we go. Just put that little guy back on there. I'm going to give these things a little bit of a wiggle and make sure that we did get them indeed tight. Everything else, battery feels solid. It's not moving around. Awesome. So all we have to do now is just work this plate back on and you just sort of work it underneath the bonnet here, maybe a little bit forward and there we go. And it sort of sits in. All right. Sort of finagle it into place a little bit. Should sit fairly flush. Pop your snaps back in. There we go. Okay, 
and we have our plastic nut that goes here. You can use our nut driver for this. Plastic, so don't go crazy with it. And then finally, our metal one that goes around the top over here. There we go, just snug that down. And finally, our last thing is to push our rubber stripping here, weather stripping back on. Pretty simple, it just sort of snaps on into place there. All right. Now for the moment of truth. Okay. All right, the moment of truth here. So where were we? Oh, she's way back. <laughs> All right. Are we gonna hold our breath? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yay! Awesome! That's awesome! Woohoo! No crazy codes. No looks crazy good. codes, that's good. Yep, looks perfect. Yep, look at that. Yay. So everything's great. All right. Now we can go on a ride. Where where were we going? Yeah, yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> Isn't that something? It is. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just like plain, like you're just driving. Oh, it's, a, it's yeah, it's very it's simple. Just, yeah, it's pretty much original. It's, it's just pretty much like yeah, you, know, you go there and drive. That's what it's just. Like, 